Hi guys, welcome you to this Janssen series of this menu project. In this video, we will see how we can configure our Omniscript a little bit uh, in order to achieve this particular screen. So let me walk you through this Omniscript. So I have this Omniscript here. It has two uh, integration procedures and two steps. The first integration step is dealing with getting all the data. Then we have this step over here. In this step, we are having an lookup and one edit block. And again, whatever the data we select here, we are saving this data through this integration procedure. So we are going to try how we can achieve this particular screen in which we need to add an button over here and one lookup element so that we can select any account instead of this particular hard coded account from the context ID. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a new version. So I have created a new version over here. So let me expand the step. We have something called select opportunity like that. I am also going to add another lookup in which you will be able to select an account. So let me search for lookup. I'll drag it over here on the top of select opportunity. I will name as select account and I'll change the level to select account. You see the account level has been selected. Now the thing is that uh, we are going to configure it. So the data source should be a subject and the data source filter value. We are not going to do that. We are going to add a lookup query configuration over here. We'll say we want to look off for the account object and the fields where ID should not be equals to should not be equals to blank. Basically, we are trying to get all the accounts. You can customize your lookup query configuration or add a new lookup query configuration according to your business requirements. So I'll name it that selected account maybe. Okay, I'll copy this one. I'll save this and in the JSON path will the value should be selected account ID and in the label it should be the name of the account. Now we are getting this selected account over here select account. So in the select opportunity we are gonna pass the data source as the account we are selecting from here. So instead of context ID, we are going to do it for select account and let's preview it to see if this works for us or not. So let me select an account. You see all the accounts I'm able to select and based on the account, let me try if and select an opportunity or not. Okay. So basically this did not work or let me try with another account. No, it actually works. So for this ACE communications, I am getting all the opportunity for the ACE communications. Let me select ECMI. It has only one opportunity. Let me try with that. Okay. So now we are able to see that we are getting this account. But the other thing is that if I am going to pass it, let me come to ECMI. Maybe I'll come to account. I'll copy this account. And if I pass this context ID over here. Now the problem is that we are getting all the contacts that has been pre-populated because of the integration procedure that is mentioned over here. In the select account, I am also able to select the account. But I should not be able to select account because I have already selected this account. One thing. The second thing is that um, it reloaded again. But that's fine. Let me select an account and for the opportunity. I am also able to select the opportunity for Burlington, but it should be the opportunity for Acme only. Right. So for that, we have to configure our uh, data a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a formula element. So I'll rename it to like form FRML account ID. So 
so i'm gonna give it a label account id now in the expression we want to actually get the account id if the context id is there we want to get the context id else we want to get the account id from here so let me try it so for this there is a if clause and here if i say if there is a select account is no let me modify it if context id is there context it's not coming but let me write it if context id is there the value should be context id else it should be select account so i am clicking on save we are going to hide this field anyway but let's use this frml account id to this opportunity over here so instead of select account or context id we are using the formula so that it will uh, dynamically change the account id based on the data we are getting if we are not getting the context id it will be the account id we are selecting over here but if you are getting the context id it should be there only and the second thing is that we are gonna make it read only right uh, the conditional view maybe yeah right so i'll make it read only if context id let's say context id is equals to blank edit so okay so if this is not equals to blank then it should be read only right mm, let me okay it says disable read only if true so maybe if it is equals to blank then it it will uh, be able to be selected else it will be read only so let me preview it clear the logs we have the context id over here so see we have the account present here and for this acme account if i select this opportunity i will be able to get only the opportunities related to acme so let me click over here right so we are getting this but this value also needs to be get pre-populated right so if i come to the data json we are getting the accounts account name over here so we can pre-populate this account name over here so let me try to do that we actually have this syntax we have already written over here let me copy this one i'll come over here in the select account the default value should be this and let me preview it again so now you see the acme has been pre-populated and it is read only account id has been there and the contacts are already there and if i somehow remove this context id and refresh this let's see what happens so now this read only has been gone so we are actually able to select it and for the opportunity id we are also able to select the opportunity id and the account id has been populated let me select another one maybe at me and based on the at me we are gonna populate it so what there are no contacts right so let's fix two things uh you see the uh okay it's not actually visible but this uh demo get account contact details has been run even though there is no context id so we have to stop that and the second thing we have to uh, create a button so that we will be able to get the contacts over here so let's do that so um i am clicking on this ip and for this conditional view i'll come over here and i'll say if context id context id is not equals to null then don't run right okay so it says so element if true so it's actually if the context id right if the context id is not equals to null then only show else you don't run it so and the second thing we are going to create a button so to create a button what i am going to do is that i am going to use the same integration procedure so that we have to we don't have to create a new logic for that 
so i am clicking on this plus icon over here new integration procedure action has been created i'll just drag it over here and i'll rename it uh, the name let let it be like that but for the label i'll change get contacts and i'll just drag it to make this smaller and second thing uh, one is i want to make it present on the right side so maybe i'll select another text block i'll drag it okay so i am also dragging uh, and resizing the text block over here so now the get contacts is visible over here okay so for this the conditional logic should be other way around so it says show element if the context add equals to null right and i think that's it and we are gonna do is we are going to edit properties at json and hide this account id so i'll say hide equals to true and if i close the json you see this checkbox is been there so this will be hidden our get contacts is there and this also takes some parameters right welcome to remote options you see it takes the account id as context id but we are gonna take the for formula right now we are gonna take the formula i'll come here control c and i'll again click on get contacts i'll go to remote properties and in the value i'll write the formula the value account id should be the formula account id and again to the edit block I am gonna do some modifications. I'll click on this edit. So we are not gonna now new option, right? So I'm gonna deactivate that. I am also gonna deactivate the delete options. And if I come here, I'll also remove the allow new. We'll uh, let the allow delete so that will be dynamically re-render this component. But the logic uh, I am removing it, so that's fine. So now let's preview it and see if we are able to execute a logic or not. So for now, I am not giving any context ID. So select ID, select opportunity and the button is now visible. So let me select an account and then select an opportunity and let me click on get contacts. It gave me one contact and let me select an up me and let me select the opportunity and let me click on get contacts. So it gave me all the contacts, but let me select another account. There is another account on my name, but it does not have any uh, opportunity. I also um, think it does not have any contacts. So let me click on get contacts. So now there are no contacts. So this is working fine, but let's also try with an account ID. So I'll copy this one and i'll present it over here i'll refresh this i'll clear the logs as well so you see the value has been pre-populated and the contacts has been pre-populated as well and the add new contact button is not visible anymore right so let me remove that and try refresh So now the get contacts button is visible. So we are going to do uh, one more thing. Mm, basically, we are have selected the contacts and selected opportunity. We have got the contacts. That's working fine. But there is an uh, gap. We have selected this account, but let me select another account. Let me select it, ECME, but this opportunity is not related to uh, ECME, right? It's related to Burlington. So I should be able to get an error, right? Okay, for now it uh, removed, but let me try with another account, Burlington, and now this is ECME. If I select it, uh, if I click on get contact, you see I am getting the contacts for Burlington, but uh, I am selecting the opportunity for ECME. I should usually get an error over here. 
so i think we have done everything except this part so let's do in this do this thing in the next video so see you in the next video thank you